So let's talk about pre-flighting. Uh, when you pre-flight the Cirrus, the very first thing you want to make sure is both bottles of water are on the top right hand corner of the red carpet. Okay, if they're not there, you probably don't want to go flying. Um, what you want to do is you want to put your coffee over the bird stand. Uh, there, sit, there's a, you know what, it got, it's all about appearances, you know. Uh, you want to touch the side, you want to feel a lot of things, like the numbers, make sure that they're, and then you want to come over here and touch this. So, it's good to look like you're doing something, but really, I mean, you got a parachute, but you got to at least walk around it. There might be a student flying something, and they don't want to, I don't know what I'm saying. Don't push that. That, uh, that'll make the, the parachute come. Don't push this either. There's really, you don't want to push anything. Um, so just point, uh, and then you want to go around. I just want to point out also there's another Cirrus over there. You focus. See? Two bottles of water. That guy's good to go flying. Alright, so now we come to this side. You want to make sure those, uh, those wires are... So then you want to touch this side of the plane. This. And then what you want to do is don't step on that. That would be bad. So we're gonna, we want to pull on these because asymmetric flap ailerons and then there's this tab. So we're looking at things, we're touching. Sometimes you give it a little tap. This is a, so then you look under here, it's because it's hot and you need a minute in the shade. So everything seems good. That's where the parachute comes out. Uh, tap it. So, uh, so you know I got uh, about halfway done and it was just too hot to finish pre-flighting. So I went ahead and made my trip because I got half the plane done and what are the odds that one half of the plane is going to be perfect and the other half of the plane is going to have a problem. That said, I like to finish what I start. So back here in the hangar in the shade, flights are over, everything went well, but I want to go ahead and finish the pre-flighting process. So just to make sure everything's going to be uh, okay on the trip I took. Now we want to focus on the, uh, the spinner and the propeller. And you know what, I don't think this is the right plane. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Sorry. It happens. Okay, so it's a good idea here to feel the propeller and the spinner and make sure that it's all there. Uh, you don't want to do this while the engine's running because uh, it's just going to be a lot harder to try to really feel like uh, if there's any any problems with the the engine or this the tip. So it's a good idea while we're working in this area to make sure all or at least most of these screws are present because uh, if this flies off I don't know now moving on around to the front it's a uh, I like to point out it's always a good idea to keep a checklist right here on the front in the window so that uh, other pilots know that you're safe uh, so that's good to keep there now before any flight we're gonna want to open this and uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that this is full of tubes and we get the big tubes and the small tubes and these are plastic tubes but if you ever open this up and you don't see the tubes I would recommend having someone check out the plane um, or don't bring your your family along on the flight also this is where the oil is kept um, I don't know how it gets in or, or any of that but what I do is I just always tell the line guy uh, I need some extra oil and they do the the, the part where they put it in and uh, they'll determine like, oh, you, you had plenty or, or you needed more. And then it, it takes any responsibility off of you if there's an issue. But anyway, you always want to do a pre-flight tube check. That's the, and ours are there. So that's good. I want to close this. It's closed. Let's see. Um, don't step on that. You can step anywhere else. Not there. They tell you you want to check the brakes on these, like by looking at these dots, but honestly, I'm just going to say the plane's not moving. I mean, if the brakes weren't working, this thing would just be rolling all over the place, right? There's a hole in the wing. This wing has obviously had a couple of, that might have been from a bird strike. Um, you can see there's been a repair here. I, there was a, some sort of split, I guess, and I don't know if we went to a discount wing repair shop, but you can see it's starting to fall off a little bit. But I honestly, I wouldn't be that concerned about it. Um, a lot of the times when we're looking at the front of the wing, um, it's important to make sure that we don't have any cloud 
or cloud residue stuck to the front of the wing. That'll alter the way the aircraft performs and flies. It's probably good to check the whole aircraft for, for that sort of thing. We'll come around to this wing tip. You just want to make sure it matches what you saw on the other side. Uh, very similar to the other one. There's places, yeah, same thing, you don't want to step here. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. You can step anywhere else. Just not on these little points here. Um, what else? Now, one other thing you want to do is you want to take this, and I, for the longest time, I thought this was a P jar for the longer flights. But what it is is to determine if there's oil and, uh, water in your fuel. And so what I see a lot of pilots do, my hand's in the way, what I see a lot of pilots do is they take this jar and then they get under the wing. And so what I think you're doing is I think you just, you tap in, and if you hear splashing, if you hear water, then you know you've got water in your fuel tank. And people will check all different kind of spots under the plane. Now, if you, if you tap and then it taps back, you may have a weirder problem, but I've never had that happen. I don't know anyone that has. Um, so I think you might want to tap that. So I don't think we have any issues to worry about. And I'd say just if you need to pee, that's probably the, the way to go. So I'd say at this point, you've pretty much you know, pre-flighted the plane, so I, I now have determined that my, my flight yesterday was perfectly safe to make. Um, I would go ahead and close this. This can cause drag, uh, and also you would lose some of the, the important things. But So that's where we're at. I feel like the, the aircraft is perfectly good for flying. Um, I actually, just based on looks, I'd be comfortable piloting any one of these, uh, except for this one, the rudders broken. But uh, yeah, anyway, so... Yeah, if I was going to fly today, I'd say let's go fly, but uh, it, uh, it was good to go. That's, that's what it was.